Former All Blacks legend Israel Dagg joins me at Rickerton Park's Red Nose Race Day. Izzy, it's great to have you here, and word on the track is you may have punted the winner of the first. <laughs> first time ever. I've been donating to the tab for a while now, so it's good to get one back. Um, but yeah, what a day. Down here in Christchurch, we've copped our fair share of rain, but put that aside, and we're going to raise some money for some cure kids, some kids that are doing it pretty tough. I've got kids myself, and um, I just couldn't think of anything worse, you know, seeing your young ones struggling. Um, so that's the reason we popped down and show my face. And I love punting, so let's get into it and hopefully back some winners. Race guys have the chance to win a round of golf with you today, of course, oh. in the auction. Tell me about that. I love golf. I love getting out there and playing. I haven't played for two months. I've had knee surgery, so hopefully we sell it for a bit. We're going to play some golf at Clearwater. I'm a member there, and, yeah, I'll just promise them it will be enjoyable. There'll be a few cold beers in the back of the cart. I'll bring a Yui Boom. So it's not your traditional golf. We're going to have fun, and it'll be pretty social. But um, as long as we can raise some good money to, for a great, great cause. And you mentioned there, of course, you're a father. What does it mean to you to be able to play your part to raise money for Cure Kids? Oh, it means everything to me. Um, I'm doing this this week, and then I'm going to help out the Gut Foundation next week. You know, on Tuesday I was with I Am Hope. Mental awareness, mental health is, is big in my life. I'm, you know, going through my own journey at the moment. So the more um, yeah, awareness we create, the more I can have an impact anywhere. It doesn't have to be major, but just being here and talking about the things that are going on in, in people's lives and hopefully... Um, creating awareness and, and talking about it more will we'll get people moving and you know like with kids you know I've got the young kids and I've got little nieces and nephews and knowing that potentially one of them might get an illness or might just suffer with some sort of disease um, knowing that cure kids have their back mm. it just gives you a sense of of relief that there's some, someone out there looking after you but um, yeah we've still got a long way to go and the day's only just started we're three races in, I'm one from three. So we've got a long way to go and hopefully I can back a few more winners. Then I could probably bet on some auctions, but right now my wallet's empty. <laughs> Of course, between your role with our friends at SENZ, uh, you own a racehorse, you love getting on course, you're pretty immersed in the sport of racing. What is it about the game that you love so much? Well, uh, does it, it's, it's like lotto. It's just the thrill of not knowing if you're going to get a good one and one's going to win. So, yeah, I've got one horse, Pungo, he's over in Australia. Uh, he's been spelling for the last three months, so he's, he should come back. He might have a big tummy like his owner, and uh, we'll have to get him into ship shape and get him back racing soon, hopefully get a few winners. Started with a hiss and a roar. <laughs> Started with a hiss and a roar, went to Derby Day, he raced in race one, and we thought, man, we're on to a winner here, and then he just fell apart. That's the thrill, you know? It's all about punting, you never know. Look, maybe he'll make up for it uh, at this prep. And before I let you go, can I get a cheeky score prediction for tomorrow oh, night's All Blacks game? Score prediction. Uh, look, I think everyone's riding the Wallabies off. Um, I think they'll be competitive for 60 minutes, and then the All Blacks will come over the top. So I'm thinking by 12, the All Blacks will win. Let's hope so. Thanks for chatting with us. Get up the ABs and let's raise some money for cool kids.